Carrie, what do you do to prepare for a virtual panel discussion? Well, one of the things we did, let me use an example from yesterday. I did one on Google Plus Hangout, where I was doing with one individual. He is a very successful uh, business person in this industry out in San Francisco. The other person was out in uh, Virginia. So I had the two coasts there and me, and we were talking to them about what they're doing and how they are operating, what are they doing that's working in their industry today. And I made sure that we uh, pulled from their different areas of expertise. One would have a slight uh, twist on doing one type of operation another one did it a little differently but uh, the whole point is to make the experience very, very rich for the audience because that's who we're really targeting we're working with the people that are there but thinking in terms of the people that are watching and with the virtual it's a little different when you're doing a physical panel of course you're there with let's say three people a thousand people are out in front of you you're asking questions make sure the technical features are working like your microphones make sure that you know what to do as any real professional would of in the event of an emergency know where the exits are, know what to do, what you do if this goes wrong. Those are very important but seldom used uh, features that you need as a professional. I think in the virtual world, you want to know where they are. We always have their phone number so that if something doesn't work quite right, if old man Murphy sticks up his ugly head one more time, you can say, we got a phone here. We pick up the phone and we call and say, hold it, let's get that going again. Have backup plans ready to go when you're doing virtual presentations and and that can help uh, a whole lot as you work with them to make them go much more smoothly.